Welcome to the Adobe Admin Console video on managing Adobe in your network. In this video, we will discuss Adobe's security architecture. Adobe handles user information by applying industry standards and best practices for security and privacy. All communication with the Admin Console is encrypted using AES 128-bit GCM over TLS 1.2. Entitlements and unique identifiers are managed by the Adobe Identity Management Services platform, like authentication and validation of the end user, including federation and runtime single sign-on. The Adobe Admin Console is part of IMS, Housing User Management, Cloud Service and Desktop License Entitlement, Federation Configuration, and Data Loss Prevention Security features. Various Adobe User Management options are under IMS as well, such as the User Management API tool, the User Sync tool, and cloud-based synchronization using OpenID Connect with Microsoft Azure Active Directory and Google Workspace Directory service. The Admin Console integrates with any SAML 2.0 compliant Enterprise Identity Management system for authentication, and it also works with different ID types. Organizations can enforce password policies for both business IDs and enterprise IDs with three different password policies. Both business IDs and enterprise IDs leverage the SHA-256 algorithm. Adobe does not manage user passwords for federated ID accounts. All identity data is secured at rest using AES 256-bit encryption in compliance with Adobe's Common Control Framework and meets our internal policies for encryption and storage of sensitive data. Adobe does not collect or store any user-identifiable product usage data tied to enterprise ID or federated ID identity types. Adobe services are under continuing self-review to ISO 27001 standards, and the shared cloud underlying services infrastructure has a SOC 2 security certification. Access to Creative Cloud services is based on each user's unique identification, which means that only users entitled to a service may access it. Both transmissions and user-generated content may be additionally encrypted with a dedicated encryption key. To set this, navigate to Settings, Encryption Settings, and click Enable to confirm. The following message indicates that the dedicated key encryption is now enabled. Administrators can download detailed reports called content logs that give information on how end users are working with corporate assets, and they may also restrict the ability of end users to share cloud content outside of the organization. Enterprise Storage Management is an update to Adobe Storage that pools storage allocation at the organizational rather than the individual level. ESM also enables Creative Cloud for enterprise administrators to run per-user storage reports, reclaim assets by transferring one employee's cloud content to another employee, and designate a storage administrator to handle storage administration tasks. A firewall can be configured to block network endpoints to prevent access to Creative Cloud services by users. Adobe's Network Endpoints Guide is linked to this video and contains lists of network endpoints for websites and specific services that are offered as part of Adobe Creative Cloud. At Adobe, we take the security of your digital experience very seriously, and we continuously monitor the evolving threat landscape to stay ahead of malicious activities and help ensure the security of our customers' data. Link to this video are Adobe Security Overview and guides describing how to manage encryption and asset settings, along with lists of compliance standards and product security.